Okay, welcome back. Let's, um, let's try this again. I shot a video earlier on and I simply didn't like it. So I'm going to give you another shot. This time I'll, um, I'm setting a timer. I'm going to try to stick to this play to about two minutes or so and keep this going. Um, that way I'm moving along and not babbling on too much. What I wanted to talk about this time today was uh, slowing down, which is probably what the one thing that enabled me to regain my focus, enabled me to improve my work, um, enabled me to find inspiration and enjoy what I do again. And what I'll do is I'll add some chapters in between here because it might get a bit long and might ramble some bits so that way you guys can fast forward to whichever bits you prefer fast forwarding to. So what just for, just for just for context, I'll go back uh, about 10, 15 years with when I started professional photography. I started when we're we're pretty much right in the middle of the digital age. Uh, film photography was almost forgotten, pretty much the same as vinyl records were forgotten. It was all MP3s or CDs, and digital cameras were pretty much used by all professionals. Yeah, they, they were good enough to be used. So. And that's when I started. That's when I started into professional photography, which would have been about 10, 15 years ago. Most of my work was uh, portrait stuff, mostly models, portfolios, some fashion, studio stuff, stuff on location. Um, location is what I preferred the most because that's where I found the most challenging work. I just enjoyed working with natural light, going out find the spots where the, the, the light hits, the shadows, it creates, you know, just move my models around in the right position. Um, and it also suits my, suited my style of photography as well. And as I go through a couple of these samples, on, I'll show them on the screen. Uh, you can see a lot of the, the some of them my past work and, and my digital work that I did, and most of the photography. As you can see, you know, I, I can't complain. I, I loved the work that I did, I loved the people that I've worked with. Um, I'm grateful for the jobs and the collaborations um, throughout the years and the friends I've made. But after about 10 or 15 years, I got to a point where I was kind of like, um, I think I was missing a challenge and that's what it was. I didn't have the challenge anymore. It just seemed like I was going through the motions and as much as I was proud of every photo shoot that I did, because I always put 100% on the shots that I did regardless. I felt that um, it was uh, my heart wasn't in anymore, and I always have this belief that if your heart's not in something, then don't do it. Just move on. Don't just keep going through the motions. You're just going to end up hating it. And before I end up hating the photography, I decided I needed to do something about it. The first thing I thought about was to change type of photography, and I thought, well, let's. What about landscape? Um, I love landscape. I, I don't think I've actually, I've never considered doing landscape because I thought it's not for me. I, it's, it, I, I shoot people. I don't go and shoot mountains and, and whatnot. And there's so much amazing landscape photography out there. And I know my skills are nowhere near it. But I thought I still want to give it a shot. It's a challenge. It's, there's no reason why I can't. So my first project was one winter to set out most mornings first thing in the morning before dawn or just bit dawn and just capture <clears throat> some areas around my suburbs, mostly parks and a couple of spots down near the river and, um, and some uh, other landscapes. I really enjoyed it. It just, it was different. I enjoyed, you know, just, just enjoyed being me and the camera and the subject, which was the, the grass and the land and the, the land, the landscapes. I really did enjoy it, but I still felt that it, that wasn't that wasn't me. That's what, not what what I wanted to do. Uh, so I was still stuck in that rut. So I had so I decided I need to literally just take a break, cut literally cut everything I'm doing. I had client jobs. I still kept doing. I did not stop those client jobs, but I stopped um, working on my portfolio. I stopped doing collaborations. I stopped trying to make network and connecting with other, with other other creatives as well um i got to a point i also deleted my instagram page i had a you know several thousand i'd grown it for several years uh, and i decided to delete it because it, it just really didn't it, for me 
the Instagram page was a portfolio, it was a business, and it just didn't represent my work anymore. I deleted it and started from scratch. I spent about probably three or four months doing nothing, thinking, and then I thought, let's give film photography a go, but do it properly, as in just shoot film. It's slow because you need to shoot slow. You, you know, using manual cameras, I've got to get my settings. I can't rely on auto exposure. I can't meters. I've got to set my own exposures. I need to meter. Um, I need to decide what film stock to use based on what I want to shoot. Do I want to go black and white? Do I want to go color? I've got to think beforehand. And, and that I knew that was going to slow me down. And I think that is what I needed to get back into loving photography again. I needed to get back into it. And it's it's the process. It's nothing to do with, you know, film, the beauty of grain and the, the magic and the character and what all that. It's just the process behind film photography. And that is what I thought I had to do. What I found as I got working, as I got into shooting just film, is that it slowed me down, really made me think. Really didn't just make me think about, you know, what the settings were. It made me think about the image, the final image. I had to visualize beforehand what that picture was. And when you only got 36 shots in the roll, you, and each shot, you kind of, you kind of need to make count to a certain extent. So you're thinking more about that final image. You're, you're paying attention to the composition. You're paying attention to the lighting. You're paying attention to what's in the background pay attention to what the model is doing or what the, the environment is. You pay a lot more attention and I think that ends up showing on that final image. And the more film I shot, the more I practice those disciplines. The more I practice those disciplines, more I found my photography was improving, the quality of the images, I was just a lot more proud of the images. Um, you, you also find that there's, there's more value there because you've worked so much more. The process to generating that one picture, look, you could shoot, you go through a roll, shoot 36 photos. Um, my philosophy is, look, I, I did a couple of shoots and some of my friends are going, you're mad, you're going there with just a film camera. Don't, didn't you take a digital camera? I go, no, I didn't take a digital camera. I only took my film cameras in two rolls because if I can't get 10 good shots out of 72, then I might as well just give up. <laughs> I'm not a photographer. So I did that. I, you know, you kind of, you get out of your comfort zone. You like, you, and, and some of the models that I work with, they're like, oh, you just got the camera, digital camera. I go, yeah, I've only got 72 shots. And they're, but that makes you think, makes you work better, makes you work harder, makes you get more involved. You don't get as lazy. You don't, you don't sit back and, and let the model and the camera do the work and all you're doing is pressing the button. You're actually getting a lot more involved into it. And that's what I found. And, and, and when you're shooting those 72 shots and you get back to your roll of film and you go through them and you find the odd one didn't quite work, whether you missed focus or the exposure wasn't quite right or the model's blinking halfway, but then you find 10 or 12 shots that you absolutely love. You're like, yeah, I was, I was involved creating those shots. I was I was present. I wasn't just pressing the button. I was present and I was watching. I was, you know, I was involved. And that makes you a lot more prouder of the work that you've done. And that's that, that that's what I found. That is what helped me get back into photography, really enjoy it. And I've got a few cameras. I want to continue as much as it's getting really expensive here in Australia to to um, to shoot film. You know, right now I've, I've, I went to the, my website where I normally get my rolls of film, and it's all out of stock. There is there is no Portra, there is no Kodak Gold two hundred, there's no Kodak Plus, there is no um, there is no four hundred, there is no Fuji. There is, um, oh, it's telling me it's done. I've done my 10 minutes. Oh, I better speed it up. Um, there is no Fuji, not even the cheap Fuji. There's, there's zero stock in Australia except for a few black and whites. Uh, I, I find it bizarre. 
Unfortunately, I've got a couple of rolls still in the fridge and hopefully it'll get me through uh, get me through summer. So I've got some Fujis, I've got some Portras and uh, I've got some black and whites. I even got some medium formats. So I borrowed uh, my Mia 645 from a mate uh, and I might try to use those Portra 120 rolls I have before I lend him the cam bring him the camera back. But the film is what, what really has helped. Um, but... I'm still kind of in a little bit of a, I wouldn't say an existential crisis, but I'm still kind of a little bit, still seeing where I'm going. I haven't picked up my portrait work as much as I did before because I'm, I'm in that transition. And I think I still need to see where, where my next chapter is. And I think that's, this is where this channel comes in and helps a lot, is that um, it's, it's making me think Again, you, I'm getting involved. I'm getting processed. It's and I, I'm I'm thinking it's you know with the way Instagram is going, it's no longer a photographer um, uh, platform. And you know I got rid of Twitter and and I thought maybe starting a new community in, in, on YouTube can work and can also help me e, to connect with new people and and you know and work towards this next chapter that I'm. You know, I'm, I'm still seeing where it's going to take me. Uh, I love shooting people. I think that's where shooting people, photo photographing people, um, in case someone's getting that, the wrong message from that. Um, so I think it's where I still want to go. I, I, I'm going to try a couple of the different disciplines. I might try some street photography. But I, I want to see where the next part is. And I think, you know, I've tried some art photography and some books. I'm working on a book at the moment, putting together a book for a project, something I shot like probably five, six years ago. So, you know, without rambling on further, I think that's where I want to go. But just to summarize quickly, you know, back to the subject, slowing down, you know, I advise anyone who really feels overwhelmed, particularly when you go out and shoot, you shoot so much, you shoot every day, you think that the more you shoot, the the more fulfilling it's going to be. But then you get home and you've got a mountain of editing to do and you just don't want to get through all that editing and then the people you collaborated with are going to get frustrated because you're not getting the photos back to them. Just take a break, step back and slow things down. You know, I, I, I would suggest film photography, if film is, photography is not your thing, just try to slow down. You know, sometimes maybe just... If you're using a digital camera, get an older digital camera, uh, put a smaller SD card in there, challenge yourself, just limit yourself to just 100 shots. If you're going to go out and do a shoot, just do 100 shots and see if you can do, you know, a little collaboration with someone and just, just fire out 100 shots and then stop there. Uh, just slow down, you know, set your camera to fully manual. And, and see if that helps you get back into the process of photography and thinking about the image you're making rather than trying to create a picture so you can put on Instagram. Just the photo. So I hope to um, <clears throat> see you guys back here again. I'm going to try to do a few more of these. I'm getting a hang of. I'm trying to get a hang of it. I'm, I've got to fix up my lighting. I've got to fix up my my sound and hopefully I'll get a bit more confidence in talking in front of the, the video camera and um, I'll be back soon and I'll continue a couple more of these just little chit chats. So here we go. Thank you very much. Be good.